I'm in inventory management here. I'm going to go into the inventory management parameters and on the general tab there's a parameter that says last price history. So let's have a look at how this works. So I'm not going to turn it on right yet. We'll have a look at how it works before I turn it on then we'll have a look at the effect after we turn it on. So I'm going to go in and create an item. Um, this is used or this parameter is used to track the price history um, so you can see if you're keeping the price history the effect or the previous prices. So I'm going to set up an item and let's go and configure that item and on the item we'll go and set a parameter which is the purchase price. So I'm going to keep the latest purchase price. Now you'll notice if we go up to manage costs and then the item price um, we don't have any active prices here so what we'll see is that the latest purchase price is going to be kept when we invoice a purchase order so that's our item uh, updated and let's go and put in a purchase order so in the purchase order we're going to do nothing special other than put the item uh, on there and invoice it. So let's walk through the process. Now you'll see um, that the default price on that item was set to $50. So what I'm going to do is um, put it on the purchase order as 51 so this is maybe something we've agreed with the supplier the price is um, updated for example so here I can go and confirm the order we can go and receipt the product and I can invoice Okay, so the price is now 51 um, and that's what's going to be updated on the invoice. So now when we go and have a look at the item, what we'll see on the purchase price here is that because we've selected the latest purchase price, the price is now 51 what we'll also see if we go up to manage the item price is that we now have an active price which is a purchase price which is now 51 so we've got one line in here uh, for that site that we bought the product on so let's go and put in another uh, purchase order now I haven't turned this parameter on yet so what will happen is that the um, item price here is going to be updated um, as opposed to keeping a history of it. So let's see the effect of that. So we'll go and put in another purchase order, clean out the previous one and we'll create a purchase order. So US 104, so we'll run through this quickly. Our item now you'll see on the purchase line that um, we're going to update this to 52 and what we're going to say is purchase confirm and then I'm going to receipt and then when we invoice it'll now be 52 Okay, so now when we have a look at our item, if we view the details, the purchase price is now 52 and when we have a look at the uh, item price here, we'll see that it's now updated, this line is 52. Now if we want to keep a list of history of every time the price is different, that's when this parameter comes into play. So I'm going to turn this parameter on and now that's in effect. So let's go and put in another purchase order. And we'll basically do the same. So 
so we'll update the price so we'll make this 53 now and we'll go through the same process so we'll confirm we'll receive it and we'll invoice it and again it's now for the 53 amount okay so that's another invoice done so now when we have a look at the item uh, we'll see that the purchase price is now 53 um, but when we have a look at the item prices now we'll see that we've got two records because that parameter in the imagery management parameters of keeping the last price history is going to tell the system that we want to keep a track of every time the price uh, changes so that then becomes the current uh, effective price so that last price history might be a good option if you want to see price fluctuations over time um, and you're updating the prices so then you've got a record of um, those changes that might be a good historical view of the price changes might be helpful when you do negotiations with suppliers for example in terms of trying to see what happened um, with the purchase prices for those products. So that's a quick walkthrough. Uh, you'll find that on the inventory management warehouse parameters. It's called last price history.